Hi, I'm Vivian Rosalaba and I'm going to tackle about the safety and awareness in hospitality industry. Anyone can experience minor to major symptoms such as having a fever, cough, tiredness, loss of smell or taste. Less common symptoms are sore throats. Use as many preventive measures as you can in certain circumstances, such as washing your hands frequently, donning a high-quality face mask as directed, donning a ventilation, and avoiding close contact with anyone or who is ill or who was tested positive. Why it is important to have a rapid testing? Because it's the rapid antigen is very safe and easy and fast way to screen for the potential COVID-19 screening or the cases. The first time or how to use the rapid test, first you have to carefully follow the instructions and complete all the following such as the swab. The first you have to swab, second you have to transfer, third you get the result and you have to act if it's positive or it's negative. And what to do with the positive? You have to immediately isolate from the others and tell the employer. Being in good physical health, workers are advised to declare any medical issues they may have or to give accurate information about their health and COVID exposures. Given that it is a government policy for citizens, including workers, to be able to decline vaccinations as part of their individual rights. Although vaccination is not required, the government still strongly advises the population to get vaccinated and protect themselves against the disease. In a COVID-19 world, implementing health and safety measures is just one important aspect of making a workplace safe because the physical separations that we maintain from one another and our avoidance of crowded areas and large groups of people helps to restrict the spreads of COVID-19. All the equipment should be kept clean and in good working order. Use different appliances or utensils for raw ingredients, meat, and the finished result. And whenever cooking something new or before preparing food, always wash your hands truly. Teach the employees to prevent cross-contamination, discard food that has been gone, and ensure that everyone working in the kitchen or handling food always wears gloves and her net with contactless check-ins visitors can enter the reserve room using their mobile devices without going through the traditional check-in process at the front desk and enable your concierge and front desktop to provide guest contactless hospitality by sending them confirmations of their reservations and also an email. As a result, there are less face-to-face -face interactions, post announcements about the response control and the protocol in our website, and always get in touch with the visitors before they arrive, and always appoint a safety and cleaning officer. Beyond only contactless check-in, some hotels also allow visitors to utilize their mobile devices as digital devices because Digital Keys offers guests a completely touchless experience which is a very persuasive tactic to entice tourists back to their hotels because all guests should expect a secure room for a key system password protected Wi-Fi and peepholes. Nowadays, having a functional phone may not always be the top of the mind of every visitor. But in the hotel industry, most rooms depend on a telephone system for communication between visitors and the front desk. This makes sure that the visitor is always aware of any potential fraud that might result in the takeover of their account. Multiple channels, including email and text messaging, should be used to contribute the warnings. 
these instances have been primarily impacted by the coronavirus in two ways. It has been first in the scene of a typical employment lawsuit, consider a hypothetical situation where an employee alleges that they were terminated as a result of reporting the illegal actions of the employer. 2019 may have seen sexual harassment as the prohibited behavior. Now, the employer's violations of law governing workplace safety regulation may be the subject of the unlawful conduct. The second one is the coronavirus epidemic has increased employer legal obligations or given rise to new employee rights. An employee may launch a lawsuit against the employer if they believe that these recently acquired rights or legal obligations are being enshrined by the employer.